Good morning, Texans. This is Alan Spader with This Day in Texas History for March 17th, 1836. On Thursday in 1836, at Goliad, a scouting party led by Albert C. Horton finds Colonel Juan Morales and two battalions near Goliad. They were camped at Manuela Creek, three miles north of Goliad. Urrea would join them at the location on the 18th. At 4 p.m., Fannin learns of Amon B. King and William Ward at Refuro from Hugh McDonald Frazier. Fan decides to discuss what to do the next day. So he knows the Mexican army is closing in on him, so he decides to wait a day to, to uh, go do what you got to do. So the lesson to be learned here is you learn something bad is coming, you react and get out. Urea's Diary. His scout spotted Texan cavalry and he ordered Colonel Morales to meet them. This caused the Texans to retreat. Sam Houston to James Walker Fannin Jr. orders Fannin to take a position on the Bay of Lavaca to protect the provisions landing on the bay. Sam Houston and the Texas Army will stay in its present location and fall back when needed. Sam Houston to James Collinsworth, chairman of the military committee. He reached Burnham's with 600 men. The rear guard is about two miles behind the families uh, that they discovered were following the army. Sam Houston had sent them to protect them when he found out there were others trailing them. Ask them to keep. Uh, ask him to keep the Navy busy. Uh, Sam Houston, the Texas Army, the Texians camp at Burnham's on the Colorado River, where they had arrived at 4:30. This is northeast of Weimar. The Army does not cross until the settlers have crossed the river. When Sam Houston left Gonzales, he had 374 troops, but they had doubled by the time they reached Burnham's. Sam Houston thought uh, this area might be a good place to make a stand against the Mexican army. With Fannin's men and more recruits arriving, could have been o well over a thousand men to fight. The rear guard consists of Juan Seguin's men under Salvador Flores, which is my great 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 grandfather's group, uh, who were all the way back with the stragglers and Mosley Baker's men. Um, so Mosley Baker and Juan Seguin and Salvador Flores, they're all. Uh, commanding the rear guard, so if there's going to be any fighting, they were going to be there to uh, take them on. So, you know, may, the, a lot of bravery there that you got these 150, 200 men who are the rear guard trying to protect everyone. The Constitution for Texas is adopted. One among Amante's diary, curves are being sent to various locations. Uh, just a locate, uh, quick note, Sam Houston, the uh, great, 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 excuse me, great-great-grandson died the other day. Uh, there's a ceremony going to be on the 15th, or when by the time you see this was on the 15th. So rest in peace, Sam Houston, I think the third. This has been Alan's Pay for this day in Texas history for March 17th, 1836. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow.